how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S5 for the first time. So before you can go ahead and turn on your phone, make sure you have already um, put in the SIM card so you can open up the back here. And make sure you have already put in the SIM card, the micro SD memory card, and the battery. So once you have done that, you can uh, then turn on the phone. So basically just long press on the power button. When you feel the phone vibrate, let go of the button and the phone should start to turn on. So we're now just wait for the phone to boot up. This process may take around 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Okay, once it boot up, um, you can by default it's set to English. So depending on the region that you're in, this default might be something else. You can then uh, choose the language that you want to use. And then tap on start at the bottom. Next, you can see uh, Wi-Fi uh, at the top. If the switch is off, you can um, slide to the right to turn it on. So it should scan for an available network. So if you have a Wi-Fi network, simply just connect to it. Just, just tap on that and then put in your Wi-Fi password. So I'm just going to put in my password now. You can also uh, tap on the show password if you want to see where, what you put in and tap on connect and this will now try to connect to the Wi-Fi network once it is connected you can see it's uh, connected with a Wi-Fi icon so now, now that I'm uh, already connected to my Wi-Fi I can tap on next next you have to uh, read the term and agree and if you don't want to um, send your data to the network simply choose no thanks and tap on next and here you will need to put in your um, Google account. This account is required if you want to download more apps from uh, Play Store. So um, at this point, you can either create a new account or you can um, uh, use an existing account. So because I already have an account, so what I do, I'm going to tap on yes, and I'm going to put in the account email address. And the password. So just tap on yes. See in the password field, just gonna put in your email password. Once you put in the password, just tap on next. Tap on OK. And this will allow you to sign in. Okay, if you have a two step uh, ver 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 verification process, then you need to sign in on the web. So I'll do that now. Okay, so just tap on sign in and I'm gonna need to put in my verification password. Okay, so once you put in the passcode, just tap on verified. Okay, so finally I'm signing in. Then tap on next. And if you don't want to um, set up the credit card right now, you can just simply choose not now. And uh, because uh, I have a, an account on my Samsung Galaxy S4, so in here it's trying to restore um, some of the apps, uh, data, and applications onto the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now this process can take a while, so I'm just going to uh, wait. Okay, after that, you can put in your name and tap on next. Okay, next you need to sign in with your Samsung account. Again, if you haven't got uh, a Samsung account, you need to create one or you can sign in with an existing account. Now I'm just going to put it in. So put in the account. After that, just simply put in the password. So just 
So just put in the password and sign in. So after you sign in, just tap on next and tap on continue. Now you can also sign into Dropbox if you want to store your data in the cloud. If you don't want to, simply just tap on skip. Then at this point you can also keep your device a name. And finally just tap on finished. And this will complete the setup process for your Samsung Galaxy S5.